that's what all the windows used to look like and that's what they look like with the black trash bags on it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing some upgrades to my minivan. Now these aren't going to be huge upgrades, they're just going to be little things that I've noticed while I've been living in the van for about the past month. Now the first thing on the list is going to be this black Postmates bag here. It has got pots and pans and food and everything you can imagine in there for cooking and I need to get rid of that and organize it better. Now what I've come up with is to use these cardboard boxes that I got from the post office. I've got three of them and I'm going to store them all underneath my cot here. Alright, let's get to it. All right, so before these boxes here can go underneath the cot, I need to remove the back seat that I still have left in here, and then I'm gonna move my mat forward, and that's gonna be my new entrance to get into the van. All right, now that I got the seat removed and I moved the mat up to closer to the front door, I gotta remove everything from underneath the cot, and then we're gonna throw all three of those boxes that we just organized everything in underneath the cot. All right, well, so far this is going relatively quickly, which is great, but I still do need to find a place for this camp stove, leave it right there. That way when I'm getting ready to cook, I just pull that thing out and it's right here at the back. I don't gotta dig anywhere to come get it. The water is gonna be an issue too. It really needs to be sitting up on something because if I just let it hang off the back here, it's not really flat and then you don't get as much water as you really should. So it really needs to be up sitting on top of some type of uh, like step or counter or something, I don't know. But just look at this. It looks so good right now without that other seat in there. There's so much more room. Well, I'm really trying to think through how this is all gonna work because you don't want things that go together like cooking supplies and the stove to be on two opposite ends of the van and have to go through two different doors to get them because that's just a pain in the butt. But I think what I got going here right now is pretty good. As you can see, three boxes back there. We got a food box, we've got a utensil and like soaps and sponges box. And then in the very back here are pots and pans. And then in between, you can see the cutting board. But two boxes fits perfectly underneath the cot, which is good. Now, the next thing on the list, which is gonna be the worst, is figuring out how to black these Reflectix out. I've seen tons of videos. I've seen people spray paint, which I'm not gonna do. It seems to flake off. But my thought is this is something I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do yet, is I'm gonna use black trash bags to cover these Reflectix. I don't know if trash bags like deteriorate in the sun and like lose their color in the sun, but we'll have to find out. I got trash bags at the house and I don't wanna go out and buy anything. So that's what I'm gonna use. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm just using what I have on hand and I've got one black trash bag and this should be able to do four windows. So I'm gonna be using this crazy strong Gorilla Glue. How this works is you spray the surface that you're trying to stick something to with a little bit of water, and then you squirt this on top of the water, and then you clamp it down and let it sit for hours, 24 hours preferably. Now, I'm just gonna spray this, the glue down, because I think that'll be the easiest. Lastly, I'm going to do this back window cover. Alright, so that's all the windows are going to do. The reason being, if I black out the front one, that's going to look suspicious. And same thing with the two driver and passenger sides. So I'm only going to black out the ones I've already done, and then I'm going to leave the other ones as the reflective part, and it'll just kind of look like I'm trying to reflect the sun and keep the heat out of my vehicle. So yeah, now we wait. It's supposed to dry within 24 hours. I don't know if I'm gonna wait that long. I'll wait a few hours. Once it's dry, I've gotta cut all this out and then we'll see how they fit in the windows. Now while we wait for these to dry, we've got two more things, possibly three more things on the list. Right now I'm gonna go strap down the table so it quits sliding and hitting me in the back of the seat chair when I'm driving. All right, so if you recall, the black card table sat on this 
door right here. Because the door is broken, it doesn't open. But by leaving it on that door, I would have to kind of shimmy the bed around, crawl in there, pull the whole table out. It was just a pain in the butt. But now, check that out. It may not be the best solution, but it is right next to the tailgate. I don't have to climb all the way through to grab the table there. All I gotta do is slide this down and I'll be able to pull the table right out. Not only that, but the two seat belts, they will hold the table while I'm driving. So if I step on the gas, it won't move backwards. And if I slam on the brakes, it won't move forwards. I don't know how great this will be in the long run, but it seems to work out pretty good right now. On to the next. And last but not least, the simplest thing, I'm gonna add a blanket and a pillow that's gonna stay inside the van. And there you go. Now the last thing I gotta do is cut out all of the reflectix and then stick them in the windows and see how they look. All right. <laughs> well, I've got the finished product for the window covers. Didn't turn out how I thought they would. Fortunately, everything is stuck. The trash bags and the reflectix aren't coming apart from each other. But if I wanted to, I could literally just pull the trash bags right off. So that's fun. Just got to be gentle with it. Well, I'm not going to put up all these reflectics because I really don't need to. But I am going to go to the outside and I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside compared to what it used to look like before the trash bags were on it. All right. This is night and day, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, so now imagine me at the casino. This is what my van looked like. That is night and day. That's what all the windows used to look like. And that's what they look like with the black trash bags on it. Pretty crazy. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for my van upgrades. I am missing one more thing, and that is lighting. I still don't know what I'm going to do about that because I don't want to destroy the van, but I also need some good light for shooting video. I'm getting pretty tired of using my phone flashlight and that thing just blasting me in the face with light and my little lantern doesn't put off enough light. I need like a happy medium there. And the last thing I really need is a portable power station like a Jackery or something of similar sorts because I need power. I got a laptop I need to charge. I got camera equipment I need to charge and this little DC power adapter. That ain't doing it, man. So I think those are the next upgrades that I'm gonna do for the van, but I'm pretty happy with what I did so far. Taking the seat out definitely made a huge difference in space-wise, and moving the table, I think that's gonna be good too because it's not gonna be moving all over the van and then it's easier to get out. So yeah, I'm happy with it. If you have any ideas about what I should upgrade or what I should add to the van, leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear what you have to say, and odds are I'll probably use it if it's a good idea. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do that. We do a lot of uh, van camping and car camping, stealth camping, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate every single one of you watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, folks, so that's going to do it for the completion of my van grade, van grade upgrades? Not van grade upgrades.